Volunteers are hard at work this week putting together the second inclusive playground here in Wood County. The 10,000 square foot project will allow kids and families of all abilities to have a safe place to play. And of all the people helping to set up parts of the playground, they're all doing it on their own time. Kaylee Kirby has more. I have a daughter um, that is in a wheelchair and this is going to be perfect for her uh, to be able to play on the playground with the other kids. A second inclusive playground is in the works in Wood County. It's a place for kids of all abilities to play and not have to sit on the sidelines. That's because traditional playgrounds have limitations. There are steps that make it difficult. There's visual impairments. There's a whole host of things that make traditional playgrounds hard for a family to play on. This is a space that's inclusive, so family members of all abilities get to play together with their friends. From the slides to the swings, each aspect of the playground is carefully chosen to accommodate everyone. And apart from the large items, everything is being put together by volunteers from the community. It gives me that, that aspect of I'm, do, I'm doing something for the community that not necessarily that I didn't have, but so that others, other kids can have it for them, for them. Volunteers are anxious to see the final result, and they know it's going to be a popular hangout spot for families, especially with the success of the inclusive playground in Perrysburg. The community that we live in here in Bowling Green and the surrounding areas in Wood County are just very passionate about the, these projects and are willing to help and give their time. That was Kaylee Kirby with that story. The last of the volunteer work will be done on Saturday. The playground will be completed in October.